Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the PR stunt speed run. This is where I try to get through all of the PR stunts as quickly as possible. This week we are blessed enough to have five again. And let's start with Danger Sign Los Jardines. You know this one at the end of the highway. We need 820.2 feet. A800 BMW. So what, what you want to do is you want to go pretty far back. You want to be able to get the top speed of your car well top speed enough that you can still make the turn that slight left hander now we need a 800 bmw so there we go kind of looking through these i was going to sort them but it's fine we have an m8 but this m5 looks like it has rally suspension i think that's our best bet six five speed seven seven speed okay m5 it is Let's use the wheel for this. Seems like an easy challenge we can use use the wheel for. We have all-wheel drive. We don't have to turn very much. It's kind of a pedal-to-the-floor situation. This thing rips. I like this. This is a good time. All right. Would be a lot cooler if it was dark. We could see all the decor, but, you know, not at this time. Seventh gear, 190. My goodness. We need 820.2. I think we could do it. That's pretty easy. I think we'll at least get a thousand. I thought that was a traffic car. That was a real player. The traffic is not like it is on some of those, you know, Aceto servers, but it's pretty. B oh my gosh. I didn't even let off. This car is goaded. Oh my goodness. 820. Thousand. Almost 1400. And we destroyed that beautiful M5. Good lord. There we go. <laughs> we got that one completed. Uh, I guess it's a BMW A800 kind of week. We have a drift zone and we have another drift zone. So let's go ahead and do Las Curvas. Fairly short one, 62,000 A800. Let's go look. Go to manufacture. And as far as drift cars go in the BMW, in the A800, we have this M3 and we have this Z4. Let's use the M3 first. Then we'll use the Z4 because I remember how good it is. Z4 is amazing. Wow, this thing is beat up. Love the livery. All right, there's the drift zone. We're going to go right there. Yep, nice super engine. Ooh, wow, this thing really slides. Interesting. Wow. This is a slippery car, that's for sure. 62,000 we need here. A lot of angle you can get with this car. Not used to that. Deep. Whoa, this thing is crazy. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was too good to be true. Well, we can't do that. We got to have a better run. All right, that was uh, first try. Yet again, I know I say it all the time, but uh, I would love to have this. I mean, this is a holy grail car. This is something TJ Hunt would need to make. You need to have that kind of money. Adam LZ, you know. I don't think this would be Weston Champlin's speed. I don't think he'd have a Euro Japanese power drive, but uh, that's the kind of crazy stuff he does, but at least a level. Look at that. There we go. We didn't spin out this time. 97,000 still going. <laughs> yeah, last curve was complete. All right. So drift zone. Oh, wait a minute. Panoramica. Um, huh. 
Okay. Yeah. This this is a little bit a little bit different. I think for this one, what do we do? Here's all wheel drive rally tires. Maybe something like that. Ooh. Holy biscuits. I just figured it out. Do you guys remember the uh, CSI or whatever it was a couple weeks ago we won? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive to the top. We're going to come down. Oh my gosh. Doesn't this sound awesome? Where's the start of it? Okay, cool. I think this is better. I really do. I'm going to start over here in these, this little driveway here. All right, so what we have, we have off-road tires, rally suspension, and just a slap awesome two-door rear-wheel drive Beamer. Whoa, whoa. I brought it up on launch control in fourth, and it stayed there. That's weird. Okay, three, two, one. I don't know what we needed necessarily, uh, but we're just going to wing it. Probably need a little more power, but I'm just letting this thing eat. A little e-brake just for, you know, rotation. Hey, he's doing it. He's trying. Did we get it? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that wasn't... <laughs> That wasn't super fun, but this car sure is fun. I love taking one of these great older luxury rides and just doing something you wouldn't normally do with it. Panoramic are now complete. We're just blasting down these dirt roads. Maybe the drift zone wasn't the best idea for it, but I really want to enter this in some kind of cross country. I think it's going to be great. I got to remember I even have these cars, man. Just seeing that nice M badge on the back. I mean, these are the kind of cars you're never really going to see again, you know? They're probably used up and they're in the junkyards and things like that, but who's going to do this with one? 360 across the road. Oh, right in front of the Bronco. <laughs> I didn't downshift. Anyway, there you go. There's your Mexican PR stunts. Now we need to head to the expansions. Here we are in the Rally Adventure expansion at Trace Colina Speed Zone. We need 81 miles per hour in a B700 Classic Rally. Um, I think we have GT70s. We could use those. Um, I, don't, I don't know. It's probably better. All of its numbers are better. Let's use it. Three, two, one. I don't know if we're going to get it. This is, this is rough. We're also going uphill. Which isn't always a killer because if you're coming down and you have to break wow this thing's all over the place what's the difference you know at least you won't have to break going uphill i keep seeing puffs of dirt is somebody else okay wow yeah get it brother that guy was full lock drifting here we go here's the gate just over 81 yes that's a make we got it in the gt70 Taking out all the trees on the Hot Wheels Drift Zone. Here it is, Ice Cauldron Drift Zone. 150,000 in B700 Retro Saloons. Man, B700 is a tough ask up here in Hot Wheels. Retro Saloons. Oh boy. Okay, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I have an idea. It might not be a good one. What car could we put like the craziest engine in? Our last chance here is the Volvo 850R, 1997, starting out in C-Class with an exclamation in Hot Wheels. It is too slow to compete. You gotta be B-Class or higher. They warn you, which is funny. All right, let's see what we can make here. What is the biggest engine we can throw in this? Oh my, oh my. We get the racing three liter. I finally figured it out. I've looked at so many cars. Rear wheel drive. Wow, this is amazing. There we go. B622. Guys, this might actually turn out to be pretty good. That little wing takes us up nine. I'll keep it. It's pretty cool. Ooh. How do we not pick anything up? Anyway, I like it. Let's do it. Wings on the front, wings on the back. Full drift car mode here. 
drift suspend. Oh my gosh, look at it. Would you look at it? I am so, I'm so happy. We're going to stiffen this thing up. Full cage in a wagon. I don't know about weight reduction. I don't know how that's going to affect things. We need to get drift tires uh, up front. We are going to have, oh, wait a minute. Uh oh, no. All right, we got to stick with stock tires. That doesn't, that doesn't mean anything. We're fine. We're good. Are we rocking those wheels? Or are we going to do like a drift wheel? Yeah, we got to do some sort of cool drift wheel. Those actually look pretty tough. Let me make them a little bigger. We'll run 18s all around. I like it. Oh, man, that's <laughs> that's pretty sick. Okay. Got to keep an eye on the uh, performance index level down there. Drift transmission. Drift diff. Guys, it's all coming together. Oh, my gosh. Now, let's see. Can we just pour this on? Yeah, nothing's changing. We're just having power, power, power. I got to do the anti-lag just for the drama. Okay, what can we get? Do we want brakes? Massive brakes. Oh, all oh, this thing's going to be light. I think that's it. B696. We are so close to just being, you know, right on point. All right, here it is. Ice cauldron. Um, Yeah, we'll just drive there. That's cool. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. What have I done? This is the forbidden drift build. Look how fast it goes. Holy. Wow. Uh, we still are on stock tire compound, so it's a little... We're going to hit the walls, but that's okay. We really just want to drift like crazy at the B level. I don't know what take this is, but here we go. Is this the one? Nice little drift tap. I'm just kind of playing with the throttle, letting this thing fall through the drift zone down here and keeping that wheel speed up if I can. Don't want to risk going around. Basically just throttle keeps this thing spinning. You don't even have to have angle. You don't have to have drifting, <laughs> anything going on. Yeah, just almost 200,000, guys. Look at this thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. I finally found the car. It gives me the racing 3-liter at the B700 level. That was super fun. That was awesome. So there you go. There are your five PR stunts. Uh, towards the end, we kind of lost the speed run part of the video, but that usually happens at some point. I got obsessed and... We went down a rabbit hole. But now you know that the Volvo Wagon 850R is one of the cars that lets you put the racing 3 liter in there. And with the right mods, you can make a full drift car as long as you don't want drift tires. There you go. The more you know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow we're going to have the Event Lab Showdown. Even though Forza only gave us one from Dexter 4130D, I'm going to try and go to the Creative Hub, Event Lab, Event Blueprints, and Playground Games Editor's Choice. Under this tab, we're going to pick some that they think are really good. And uh, we're going to pit them against the one that they gave us in the Festival Playlist. So make sure you tune in for that. I will see you tomorrow in the next one. Later.